red flags for men are green flag, or I'm sorry, red flags for women, as far as we're concerned, are green flags for women. And here's what it comes down to. Mm, like never that. let never let a woman convince you that your red flags are somehow make you unattractive, right? Yep. You take a man, you take a man and a woman. Here's another translation. Oh, he has tattoos. He's not long-term relationship material. Oh, what she means yep. is he's probably not long-term relationship material, but I'm going to try to be in a long-term relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Um, so basically what this comes down to is this is that you take the average red, you take the red flag for a woman. Yep. Tattoos, piercings, uh, multiple kids with multiple uh, men. Uh, what else? I mean, th I mean, th think of any red multiple flag. Multiple girls. Mo right, exactly. Yep. Donovan. Criminal record, etc. Look, look at this one right here. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's insane, man. Can't, you can see her kidneys. No, it's not a dude. I'm, just <laughs> I'm, I'm totally kidding. Yeah. Uh, but 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 that that's what I'm talking about. What was that you showed him? Just uh, so for the people that are out, out listening. Okay, so she said basically a girl. LOL. Had fun hoeing around all weekend. Oh, okay. She said that to you. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that girl was probably herself, fucked. Yeah. Listen, that girl was probably fucked more men and probably women than most men have fucked have fucked women. <laughs> that's how this. <laughs> listen, that's how this goes. But but getting back to like, dude, a criminal record, yes, a violent yes, disposition, yes, absolutely. Someone who's someone who's been through a lot. All of that looks terrible on a girl, mm -hmm. but on a guy, think of a guy who's got tattoos, right? He's got a criminal record. He's got a bunch of baby mamas. Girls would girls like to say, "Oh, all those are red flags." Girls are steady fucking these dudes. Donovan, you know what's funny? In that same seat, the girl sat right, the twenty year old girl, right? And she, yeah. And she oh, like, the the dungeon girl. Oh, oh no, no, another one. Oh, no, another no, one. God, Jesus <laughs> that was insane. I was like, this Yo. girl looks like the girl next door. She's talking she's about 19. getting tied up. She's nineteen in dungeons. Donovan, get this right though. The girl sitting right there was like, "Hey, you know what? From I'm tired night. of these guys. You know, I broke up with them because they weren't good for me. But who? Okay." And then Myron asked her. Who are you dating? Oh, ex-convicts. Yeah, um, there you go. They were jerks. Six there you go. Assholes. Yep. And like you said, they talk shit about them, but they still date them. Yep, exactly. The reason why, listen, there are many reasons why. Oh my god, I don't want to get too far into the weeds here, yep. but I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to condense this as much as possible. Yeah. Women these days are, again, feminism, and I'm trying to condense this because I know I can be long-winded. Mm. Femi feminism, the smartphone, dating apps, and Instagram. What it has done is it has caused women to prioritize physical genes over resourceful genes. Okay. Mm. This is the alpha fucks beta bucks. The reason for that is because now there are no immediate repercussions for fucking the bad boys. So let's rewind about 55, 60 years. Listen, man, there were young, pretty girls who saw attractive guys all the time, but they didn't just go off and fuck these dudes because they thought to themselves, well, if I have sex with this guy, I could get pregnant. Right. And if in when, when girls used to get pregnant before before they got married, dude, they'd send them off, maybe send them to go live with an aunt and an the uncle. Village. Yeah, right. Like they would get them out of there. And then maybe if she made her way back to the hometown, maybe they could make up some kind of story. The point is, is that fucking with bad boys had immediate consequences. This is why girls didn't fuck with bad boys. Feminism, a hormonal birth control has eliminated all that. Women only look for resourceful genes. Women, women never look for resourceful genes with their offspring, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, they'll get what they'll they'll get with the beta guy because he has resources. Women don't want to have the they don't they don't want to have children with the men who drive the Toyota Camry 60 a year 401k. No, they want to have the they want to have the children of guys who are convicts, guys who have tattoos, piercings, all this other kind of stuff. But again, it's it's because there are no immediate consequences. This is why girls are prioritizing physical genes over resourceful genes. That's yep. the that's the thing. And I'll say right. this: another little interesting thing I learned from doing these interviews was a lot of girls won't cuck themselves like men will. Yep. Like like when we yep. ask them, "Hey, would you date a guy or take a guy seriously that has kids?" They're like, "I don't think so. Oh, Not really. Pass. Like unless like he had it. Like the only time I see girls actually." take that is that if the guy makes like crazy Wealthy. amounts of money of course yeah. right but because like, that mitigates it yeah. it's, it's amazing how like men will gladly put go into the slaughterhouse right yeah uh, and raise another man's child but women really will avoid putting themselves in that position you want to know why hilarious we, because because most men would fuck most women but Facts. most women wouldn't fuck most men yes Facts. and because Perfect. of that th and because of that and women have the abundance mindset this is why men are willing to tolerate more from women than women are willing to tolerate from men yeah. there's there there's your dichotomy so i'm not gonna date a guy if he has kids oh wait a minute he's part of the two comma club you know what i think it'd be a stepmom right yeah yeah a guy the dude guys right. right exactly and listen no shade on them that's i mean listen this is their hypergamous firmware but 
a guy will just like you said, he'll go into the slaughterhouse simply because of the uh, simply because of the scarcity. That's how so, it is. For example, I, that was me, bro. Like when mm-hmm. I first came to, came to America, yeah, me too, I man. Didn't, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know anything. I met a single mom. She was good to me. I said, you know what? This is all I got, and I gave up my privilege of being free and single. Yeah, thinking that you know what? This is all I can get. Scarcity mindset. Yeah, but little little did I know that I was put, put, putting myself in, a, in like a trap. Yeah, and when, when I got my wiser, I got a little bit more RP aware. Oh, that window. was it. All the window. That was so, it. You're right, man. Good. Good. 